Hello everyone, so first thoughts on episode one of Gundam Metaverse. Oh my god, that was so much fun. I uh, I seriously enjoyed the uh, the experience just from the simple fact of we've not had a build series in ages and I absolutely love the build series. So let's get into this. Not so much about the episode, but more about the entire concept and just in general and overall. So essentially this is one big run up to them launching the metaverse beta uh, and as a result this is more like a fantasized version of what they want it to be it's really fun seeing it all work and the question is now will it work as well as this or will they ever get it working as well as this and I i'm not so sure that they will but it would be good if they actually got it like that. Uh, the story setup is brilliant, primarily because, yeah, it's a slow start. We get introduced to a new character who has to learn the ropes. And even though some people might not like that, because essentially it's starting over with a fresh character all over again, you've got to remember they've done that every single time with this series. The build series has always been about having as much fun as possible, showing off the gunpla, and showing people enjoying building it so that's what it does at its core this first episode sets it up really well for more fun in future and of course then we get into the more fun stuff which is basically the fact that this is more or less a celebration of the entire build series whether you liked it or not whether you hated some parts whatever you enjoyed about it they're really seemingly going all in to give as many references and nods to the older episodes or the older series and just showing off as much as they can mix together to really celebrate the entire thing at the moment because the build series is basically its own subline at this point it always has been really since about the I'd say Build Fighters Try, uh, since they did the second one and then followed it up with Divers and then Re-Rise, it cemented itself as being a sub-series to the, the actual main line uh, things like, for instance, IBO, Witch of Mercury, and then some of the movies that have come out as well. I've always enjoyed it being sort of a side option that you can just enjoy for the fun of it with all the references and stuff. Didn't see whether we were going to be playing any games of Spot Patrick at the moment. That might be a thing. I don't know. Uh, but there were some amazing callbacks here outside of uh, showing off the metaverse stuff that they want to do in future. Obviously, they had Build Divers in there because Build Divers was a big part of the last arc as well, Re-Rise. So... Of course, we're putting one of the more fun characters in to introduce people to the the sort of series and the whole narrative that the the build series is built up, which is having lots of fun with friends and building gunpla. Riku's always been about that, so of course they bring him over from build divers with uh, some of the other build divers, which are basically Ayame and Momo. They they leave they, they leave the uh the other supporting character out and then obviously we've got references to uh fumina who's still around and kawaguchi um this was something that i thought was really cool especially because of the whole thing of the uh the metaverse aspect of having your own avatars potentially not uh be what you look like and represent you so essentially what it could be doing is showing off uh, older characters now with younger versions of themselves as avatars, uh, which would be interesting to see whether we get older versions of Kawaguchi and Fumina at some point, just to see what they look like. Um, it's going to be interesting as this series goes on to see what kind of matchups we get and what kind of uh, experience as well, battle-wise. And uh, just to see also if we actually get any of the silly moments that we've had in previous series. I want to see what sort of angle this takes. I imagine it's going to be a lot more lighthearted than Re-Rise. Uh, Re-Rise was a lot more of an adult-themed version of uh, the build series. But I feel like this is going to hit all the notes, possibly, of just build fighters and build fighters try in terms of uh, being very happy and upbeat. I could totally be wrong. Um, obviously, there may be like some serious moments here and there, but I imagine this will be more upbeat than Re-Rise. 
Even so, I like the builds at the moment. I like the characters. It's going to be, again, interesting to see where they go from here. The, uh, the attention to detail and, again, the little references. We already got callbacks in this first episode uh, to some of the stuff from both divers and I think the end of uh, Build Fighters where they showed off uh, two of the arenas, one being the main hub from divers in one of the thumbnails and then also the final fight arena in the uh, Forest of Cherry Blossoms at the end of uh, Build Fighters. Just seeing a lot of little things like that could be its own video in itself, but it was it was really nice to see, and I'm so hyped to see what happens with the rest of this, including, uh, obviously, Ayame's callbacks to the uh, the SD, the big three SDs that are basically legacy machines for the uh, the BB Senshi series. I absolutely loved that ability. It was just so good. Plus, obviously, they kept the, uh, the battle music or the introduction to battle music the same that they always have done. So there was a lot of continuity, you know, sort of like continuing from the previous series, celebrating what's come before it, and then hopefully building upon that. So again, it's going to be fun to see where that goes. Um, outside of this, it's going to be interesting again to see uh, what happens with the metaverse, how well it's received, how well it does, uh, whether it can actually catch on everywhere, not just in Japan. Um, thoughts about it at the moment honestly if it's like available for both desktop and vr it's going to be interesting primarily because i feel like that won't alienate anyone then and will give everybody a wide experience um as somebody who's just got into vr within the past like couple of months after essentially suffering from vr sickness for the last three years it's going to be interesting if they do include something like that because it will give you an entirely new perspective from which to explore this universe. So, honestly, I'm really hyped. I'm really hyped for everything. This is a really fun episode. Again, I really enjoyed all the callbacks and everything else. And that, that ending, man, that the ending showing off what is potentially going to be next episode or what's happened at the end of this one leading into the next one, I uh, I honestly thought that um, that that was gonna come up differently, primarily because I thought the uh, the teacher was actually gonna be the uh, the main bad guy for this, but it looks like I was wrong. So anyway, I'll see you guys on the next one. I hope you've enjoyed, and I'll see you in the comment section. So until then, bye.